Houston to Helvick. Uh, we have uh, lift up in five, four. I get tired of counting one. That was awful. <laughs> Let's dive in, man. It's Feedback Friday again, and it's almost the weekend. I'm ready for the weekend. I'm so ready for the weekend. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to take my kids camping. It's going to be awesome. Unless I decide to send them to Mars. Oh. In space world. <laughs> you know, they're they're handy kids. They can survive. So, uh, yeah, man, let's dig in. I think that this probably was submitted. I don't think I got it in my inbox. Did you get it in yours? No, I think this is a submission. I feel like we get okay. kind of a lot of these B2B outreach cold email sort of styles of emails so i'm kind of excited to walk through one of these yeah you know i think this is a fantastic example of somebody who kind of said okay we have a pretty standard style of template like in mailchimp or campaign monitor or kind of some of your go-tos maybe like uh, bronto or constant contact like places like that and then it's like okay we can create an image for the header And then we got to like fill our CTA. Notice (laughs) this is the exact same shape as the really good emails under. Oh, familiar. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder. Mm. Anyway, no no big deal. Like whatever. That's that's a cool little thing that they figured out, except that they've got borders on theirs, which sort of defeats the purpose of why (laughs) we did ours that way. But as we kind of move down here, you can see. This is just utilizing these styles to get content in here. But man, it just feels like you just plopped content into a template. And here's the thing. Man, I really get that, right? Like, Mm -hmm. it's easy. Let's get it done. Let's not spend too much time on it. But here's the problem. It, It Okay, so it turns out that stock photography doesn't convert. Like it just doesn't convert at a high enough level. And why? Because we become too familiar with it. Our brains have evolved to know the difference. Really wild. So they've even done studies where if a if a person is holding like a shampoo bottle and they're looking at the shampoo bottle, it converts at like 1x. If they're looking at you, it can convert higher. Like we're getting really dialed in as people. We, we're figuring out, like our brains are getting excited about, you know, nuance and difference. And so here's the problem is this kind of stuff is not going to perform well. And stay listed. Like I know that they want an email that performs well. Yeah. And so here are some things that I think that they can do to really improve this design. So thing one, I would probably do like a full size header this like standard blocky uh, header just feels like it's trapped up. Um, mm-hmm. And I think you could do some really great things if you were willing to just kind of open it up and, and go bigger. Uh, the illustration in the background is kind of interesting and fun, but it's I a little too no cliche idea. for me. It's like, put a rocket on it. It's business synergy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It, I have no idea what it has to do with stay listed. You know, and I think that's the thing that I'm like, I'm a little confused about. Right. So yeah, I'm just kind of like trying to figure it out, figure it out, figure out where we're at. Here's another thing. Uh, we put borders on this, but the, the is the border like what is it doing? It doesn't feel like it's doing a job like everything in your email, everything in your design should be doing a job. And if it's not, it's distracting. And I don't feel like the uh, the border is actually doing a job. Another thing that's not doing a job, this big red CTA. It says click here, one. That's we learned, you know, one of these weeks that click here is unnecessary. In Clicking isn't something that you're doing on your phone, so that doesn't make any sense. And then, you know, really all you need to do is say get started. So, or you could say, you know, a CTA that is a little bit more engaging and tells you a little bit more and... Red is really rough here. It looks like an error, like danger, Will Robinson. Click here to get started. You know, it's like, wait a second, this isn't, this doesn't feel right. So, uh, unless that's part of their, you know, their brand aesthetic, which I'm doubting, you know, I think there's some real changes that could be made here. It is good to see that potentially these are bulletproof uh, buttons that are, you know, taking on different size text. It's good to see that kind of thing. But man, like this, this feels like web 
like kind of web one and like we haven't done much evolution here. So I'm, I'm really bummed out about it, but I'm going to stop talking because I feel like I'm getting sad. So you tell me <laughs> where you're at. Yeah, this like the middle bl- blue block is like so confusing to me, like why it's there mm-hmm. or something. I don't get it at all. I mean, I actually don't really know how legit this you know, stay listed thing. I mean, if you hit the click here to get started, like the next step is like putting in your credit card information. So I'm not really sure how that sales, you know, funnel process is going to go. Um, but yeah, yep. th- nothing it really makes me excited about this. Like um, maybe they could show me some case studies of successful clients or something like that. Or like, as you know, have a photo of, you know, one of these people that they're talking about. Yeah, this is like a kind of a mix between like a sales email and a promotional email. It doesn't really work for me. And yeah, and some of these sections too, the the multi-column stuff, mm-hmm. I'm just not really with. Like I think either keep it one column or two, but then you have the business hours and that's kind of off center and everything else. And then yeah. the signature is not even matching the rest of the email someone just copy pasted from their outlook or something. So. so let me, I'll, I'll walk through a couple other like typography things. So thing one is uh, when you're doing text like this, it's best to go ahead and make that all one paragraph at that point, like, or add text to it. So something like this is too short unless you decide to make it more like a heading and then it works. But the problem with this is it's not very scannable. And there's very there's not enough uh, padding above this area and not enough below. It feels jammed in and like packed in. And, you know, when you're trying to communicate something, you don't want f- your content to feel like you've stuffed it in a sack too hard. You know, like you want to have give it some breathing room. Here's another example where people do this all the time where you have a little bit of text, a big line break, and then a little bit more text before something. And that's just, it's not that effective. So that might be the actual right text, like to say what you need to say, but you've, you've in email especially, but in other design contexts as well, you've got to figure out how to say it and write it out in a way like where the spacing and the visual cadence, you know, makes more sense. And then like, again, same thing down here again. And then like with these bullet points, Everything here with the letting is exactly the same. And so you lose that this is one, this is two, and this is three. It just looks like a paragraph. And that just ends up feeling weird. Not to mention that the uh, the grid is messed up. So like out here on the left, we've got one you know sense of padding. And then we have these indented bullets. The effect is that it ends up feeling noisy or messy or like broken almost because you expect the alignment to fit differently. So it does look like this is a template though. So I wonder, you know, if we have any tips or thoughts about, you know, when you are that email designer being asked to send out an email like this and you're a brand new startup and you, I don't know, either try to find a free template online or, you know, use whatever standard is in your ESP, like, I guess... Are there any tips about like how to maybe make that process a little smoother? That's a good question. For me, I think some of the things I was saying about how to organize your text, mm-hmm. um, I would reduce your amount of colors. So in something like this, I would not be using orange and blue and red. That Those are really rough colors together. If it were me in this context, I would have just used orange and white and like yeah. let your text be the dark. And you could let your button be the same dark as the space shuttle thing here. And that Mm -hmm. would stand out really nicely. And you could let your cloud here be like gray. I would drop the border. I would make your links bold and underlined. I would, you know, and again, make these buttons the dark sort of almost black, but like dark gray. And then I would just add a little bit more spacing between these to like give them some some room to breathe. So mm-hmm. there's some things that I think that that could be better. But to be honest, I get this. I understand why this gets out there. But I know that Stay Listed, they want this to perform as well as possible. So those are the th- changes I would make to, to be able to make this quick, get it out the door, use a template, 
But if you're going to do that, you know, reduce the number of colors that you're using. Try and make sure you've got enough spacing so that things can breathe. And I think in, in like, a, here's a good example. I, I would not go overboard. Like this use of the blue and the orange in the background to do this funky stuff. Yeah. It's over. It's overkill. I think they're trying to it's match like, it to their bottom logo colors. Um, maybe. But yeah, this is in, in, in a case where I think a plain text email might have actually been fine for this. You don't really need a promotional looking email for every single, you know, touch point you're talking to your customers. That's a really interesting point. Yep. And and even in B2B too, some people, yeah, I think it could be more successful just to have your logo up top and maybe have that signature with like a photo or something like that and keep it really casual. Because a lot of these kind of promotional looking stuff, if you're already, say, a customer, they don't, they don't need to be sold again. I feel like yeah. you know, just be a lot more conversational and, and maybe feels, you know, that you're in, in trusted hands, you made the right choice, and there's someone, you know, on the other end of the line that can you can answer any of your questions. So. Oh, man, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, I think they might have done a rebranding since, uh, since they made this email, but... They knew that we were going to tear it up, man. That's it. I mean, it does yeah, look like they it. are kind of a smaller, um, small business, so I think they having a designer resource and maybe thinking through this a little yep. bit more, definitely they can ho- yep. hopefully learn and definitely small businesses starting out. There's a lot of people in in your shoes and that's why, you know, really good email is around for you guys to, to look at different examples and see what yep. other companies are doing. Yeah, that's absolutely right. You know, I've been here, I've done this and, um, there's lots of opportunity for growth. That's the cool thing. Right. And, by taking on some of those things that we suggested, those are actually reducing, like it's less work. Mm-hmm. And I think it could be more effective. So this feels like too much work in the wrong areas to me. Yeah. But yeah, I hope that this is effective. I know sometimes this is a hard word, but we love everybody doing good email. We love everybody, period. We're, we just, we're big fans of human beings. <laughs> So good job getting email out and trying your best. Always hear us celebrating that. So For sure. Well, dude, I, I'm ready for the weekend. So you ready to buzz here? I am. I'm going to take a rocket ship into space and discover a new world. A new <laughs> okay, world. That, that means we need to cut. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. See ya.